So it's a really cool fall brisk morning here, about mid-October. I found a remote lake up in the mountains, brought the kayak down with me. Just by first glance, there's a lot of really good bank grass, a lot of really good cover on the bank. The water's a little dingy. This is the perfect place to be throwing this brand new hula popper. The hula popper 2.0 is available in four brilliant brand new colors. Each color has its own unique crackleback pattern. We've also updated the hooks on these hula poppers and added split rings so they're free swinging and have a lot more range of motion. We've replaced the rubber skirts on the traditional hula poppers with a brand new feather treble hook. This feather treble hook flares out when it's in the water and adds a lot more realism to the bait. couple different ways you can work the Hula Popper 2.0. There's an aggressive approach and more subtle approach. The aggressive approach, you're basically leaving yourself no slack at all and you're reeling up and pulling that bait underwater. This is going to trigger a lot of reaction strikes and it's a really great way to fish the bait when you're fishing dirty water. That's going to mimic any type of bait fish that's fleeing or trying to get away from a predator. The second way is a lot more subtle approach. This is great for when you're fishing clear water. You're going to want to leave yourself a little bit of slack in your line going to allow that bait to not move quite nearly as far when you're making those sweeping motions with your rod tip to make that bait pop. That's going to mimic any type of bait fish that's feeding at the top of the surface. There's one. Oh, come out of those weeds, buddy. Gosh, and he was right where he was supposed to be. Come here, dude. There he is. All right. Hula Popper 2.0, baby. This guy, he didn't miss it. So we'll get him back in the water. We'll go catch some more. And when you're fishing a lake, it's got really dingy water like this, and the water temperature has gradually dropped over the past week or so. The best thing you can do to maximize your chances of getting bites with this hula popper is add time in between your pauses. Nothing too crazy, five to six seconds is about the sweet spot you're gonna wanna be at. They're gonna be clinging towards cover and not roaming around looking for food. So the longer you pause that bait, the more time you give those fish to come find it. Come on, baby, come on. Come on. Oh, we got it. There he is. I had to wait on them that time. Get them on in here. Woo! Another one. A couple things we've decided to keep the same on this bait are the lip design and the profile. These features have produced lifelike popping actions that anglers have trusted for years. Good one right there. Yeah. All right. Popper 2.0, baby. Man, that bite is so fun. I mean, he came up and just clobbered it. That's why fishing this hula popper is so much fun. I mean, you just never, ever know when they're gonna hit it. 